Hi guys and girls, AJ here today. We're just going to talk about quickly um, about the updates of the new iPhone. So more and more evidence is coming out that they're going to be S models. So the iPhone 12 mini S up to the Pro Max S. Um, which is a shame. I was hoping that Apple wouldn't do that anymore and just keep bringing out a new or slightly new design, um, but obviously not. So what I was hoping they would do is have it called a 13, smaller notch, fingerprint reader, uh, no charge port, but that's not gonna be obviously the case. All you're probably gonna get um, this year in September will probably be more likely um, an S with the same size notch that it's got now um, with a plug in support at the bottom. QI or QI charging probably be the same as 15 watt, but just the chipset would be a little bit quicker and a little bit better. Um, but I think that's it. I think there's not going to be much more. There may be a different colour, uh, but we'll see on that. Um, but hopefully these rumors are wrong and that we do have a 13 with a smaller notch a fingerprint reader in screen um, and also a portless and what they need to do I think to bring people back is make wireless charging either across the board or just for the pro models have it as um, faster charging so i.e. with the Qi have it say 25 watts which everybody's been wanting for years is 20, 25 watts. So if they could do that now with Qi, speed the Qi up, then what more than what we've had of plugging at the bottom um, would be a really good thing. Make it really smooth, aerodynamic looking if you like, the same as it is now, but have bigger speaker at the bottom so the sound quality is the best in the industry, um, which would be really good. And then we can go from there. Uh, there is a thing I've seen online from, I think it's Motorola and another company that have been testing uh, wireless charging, but from a distance. So around about a foot away or more um, by being able to actually charge your phone um, without being near the charger as such. It uses a certain technology that sort of goes through the air to your phone and charges your phone. Wow. So hopefully that's something that Apple is, is gonna come out with maybe first, which would be really interesting if they do. Um, but I'm really looking forward to the next few years of what Apple brings out and, and certainly what, what comes out in the industry from other companies, I think would be fantastic to see what they're coming. If they're trying out that sort of wireless charging that's not Qi charging, but is from a distance, so you could charge maybe multiple devices at once at a good speed. Um, I think at the moment where they've been tri trialing it, it's been uh, obviously a very slow speed, but things would change. Um, but we'll see on that. But if Apple could do that, it'd be great. A flip phone would be good, but we keep hearing re reports of good sources that are normally right. Um, that Apple are not looking to do that at least until 2025, which is disappointing um, because that is where that part of that market that needs to grow, I think. And with the options that um, Samsung have, you know, the Fold 3 and, and, and all this, the, the Fold Z or Z, whichever country you're in, England or America, that makes a difference. I'm very thirsty. Um, so I really feel that Apple are gonna bring some great things out, bring them out onto the table in the next year or two. Um, with the Apple Watch, Hopefully it's gonna have the same sort of edging and maybe bezel type as uh, the new, well, the Apple phones at the moment um, would be really, really good. So I should have paid off my two watches by then, by November or before, and I'll be up for a new Apple watch. So if anybody wants my watch I have here, please DM me later on this year. Um, but yeah, we will see how it goes with Apple. Um, fingerprint reader under screen is a very good thing, uh, but would it be 
as secure as when they had the button um, reader for the four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, if they do, if it's as good as that, then it's worth having. If not, just don't lose your phone. Um, but if it uses facial recognition, as well as the fingerprint reader, that would be classic, that would be brilliant. Um, if Apple can do that, which they could do, you know, other companies have done it, um, I think that's good. Quid charging we've covered. Um, different glass, so every time they bring out a new phone, the glass is stronger. There's not been a huge amount of reports of the glass on the 12s. It seems to be pretty strong, but it's still not scratch resistant. So like I say to people all the time, get a screen protector. You know, don't get a plastic one, get a glass one. Um, ESR is where I get mine on Amazon and they've never let me down. Um, they're very good. Uh, I mean, you might be able to see the backgrounds a little bit blurry um, by the camera, but that's because that part of the screen protector, it happens eventually and you replace it. But the problem I've had is quite often is where I've had the ones that are open so it doesn't cover the camera lens. Um, I've always ended up scratching the camera lens. Somehow, I don't know how, but it always happens. So now I always go for a full cover, apart from a speaker, uh, for your ear, and that's it. So always, always, when you order a phone, make sure that you've also ordered from Amazon or eBay um, a well reputable from a reputable com company uh, a screen protector same for your Apple watches always do that for your iPads always do that because it's such an expensive replacement um, and if you haven't don't use Apple care and sometimes insurances are a bit funny about replacing them as well home insurances and with being Apple or Samsung they charge a hundred pounds access straight away so it's not always a good thing so always protect them, get a bumper case like I've got. Um, that I also got from e eBay, I think it was, which was only like two pound and it's it's good. You know, it raises off off the table a little bit. And if you've got protector, you, you're fine. Um, and if you've seen my other videos, I do wraps as well, skins. So they are quite my popular videos um, and I do those because I enjoy doing them and you guys enjoy watching them. So yeah, just please subscribe and um, you'll see more of them. If you don't subscribe, maybe I'll, um, I don't know. I don't know if nothing I can do really, is there? But yeah, so that's my quick intake of the new iPhones that are coming out. Apparently they're gonna be 12 S's, which is a shame if Apple are gonna do this. Like I say, you look at Samsung, and when they bring out a new phone every year, it's slightly different. The camera setup is different. This is different, that's different. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.